A lot of America's familiar with drones from our military background, but there's been a push within the civilian portion of our government to use some of that technology in a way that can more generally benefit people of the world. We really are trying to use new and cutting edge technology to try to save lives and protect property. This is a storm of historic proportion. It is one of the largest, if not the largest, we've ever seen. All of these areas in red, you need to be taking action. The technology used to predict hurricanes and understand how they behave has radically improved. But as Hurricane Sandy proved so painfully in 2012, the storm's wrath remains costly and even deadly. Since the storm hit, we've provided billions of dollars to families and state and local governments across the region, and more is on the way. As part of the 2013 Hurricane Sandy Relief Bill, Congress granted millions of dollars to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, otherwise known as NOAA, with the intention of testing new technology that can help scientists better understand these deadly storms and eventually improve their forecasts. The more accurate the forecast, where it is, how strong it is, is information that emergency managers can use in a day-to-day -day basis to decide what areas might need to be evacuated and which areas don't. Joseph Sion is a research scientist and meteorologist at NOAA. Using the congressional funding, his team is developing what could be the key to better understanding these storms, the Coyote drone. Here's how it will work. The Coyote is deployed from one of NOAA's massive hurricane hunting P-3 airplanes. Once it parachutes down to a desired altitude, the electric-powered seven-pound drone with a five-foot wingspan heads into a region of the hurricane too dangerous for manned aircraft, the so-called air-sea interface, where the storm is fueled by the ocean's energy. Something like the Coyote, which gives us pressure, temperature, winds, and humidity, can really improve our understanding of that region. While it flies inside the storm, NOAA also collects essential scientific data beneath the storm with another drone, one that can swim. While the coyote is collecting data in the atmosphere, all that data stops at the surface of the ocean. It can't collect below that, obviously. So we're flying these in the same area as the coyotes, and then we can tie together the data collected from the water with the data collected in the atmosphere, and we get a better picture of what we think the hurricanes and the storms will do. As NOAA's underwater drones patrol critical hurricane regions in the Caribbean, Joseph Sion and his team continue to conduct test flights until the day it's time to put the coyote to the test in a real life hurricane, where they hope to get new information that could save property and lives. We need to get these observations, we need to get them to understand and get them into the model. So I'm hoping that we really can find a way, if, this, if the technology shows it's worthy, and not wait another five years, God forbid, for another disaster to, to fund something like this. Mm -hmm.